Hello friends, this is Durga from IT Varsity, a one-stop shop to learn all the technologies. So as part of uh, setting up SBT, sorry, setting up Scala IDE for Eclipse, uh, in this video we will see how to integrate SBT with Scala IDE. So already we have Scala, we have uh, SBT, we have Scala IDE also and uh, now we will see how to integrate with SBT. Before getting into that, let's make sure that our uh, Scala version is 2.11.8. Um, in Eclipse. So we have Scala installed which is 2.11.8 and uh, we need to make sure that even here we are using uh, uh, Scala 2.11.8. Uh, uh, so for that you can go to properties and go to Scala compiler and make sure you use 2.11.8. Okay, click on apply, click on OK. Click on OK. By making sure that versions are consistent um, across uh, 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 Eclipse and also the command line, you will avoid some of the surprises due to version mismatches. That being said, now let's get into the main topic about integrating SBT with Scala ID for Eclipse. So first thing we have to do is we have to, uh, there is a plugin called SBT Eclipse and we have to add it to SBT. So for that we have to go to this location at uh, home directory slash dot, s, dot sbt which is the hidden directory for sbt when, when we install it it will be created automatically. So you can actually see it by going to home directory cd dot sbt it's a hidden directory and then you can see ls ltr and there is a directory called 0 0.13 which is nothing but the version we have installed and in that you have a directory called staging but we have to create a directory called uh, uh, plugins okay so we can create the directory called plugins here and then go to plugins directory and then create a file called plugins.spt okay and copy this line So here we are saying the uh, SBT to use a plugin called Eclipse and uh, uh, SBT uses IV dependency resolution. So com, uh, com.typesafe.eclipse is like group ID and SBT Eclipse hyphen plugin is like artifact ID. If you are familiar with Maven, you have the dependencies with uh, uh, group ID, artifact ID, version tags. So here this is the group ID, this is the artifact ID and this is the version, okay. So we are trying to uh, add SBT Eclipse plugin of, of version 4 and save it and come out of it. And now go to the directory where we have the original uh, project, where, where we have developed the original project using uh, Eclipse. We will come back to that uh, a little bit later. So now let us understand the advantages of integrating with uh, SBT with Eclipse. So it will help you to uh, generate Eclipse projects, build a deployable jar file, this is the most important aspect and works well with Scala. So either you have to use Maven or Scala, uh, sorry Maven or SBT to build a jar files out of your Scala projects. Um, um, SBT works very well with Scala, Maven is a more generic uh, build tool whereas SBT uh, works well with uh, uh, programming languages like Scala. I, I think it works with other programming languages also but it is more popular with Scala. And uh, now after seeing the advantages, uh, there are two ways to create jar file with SBT and Scala ID for Scala. First, uh, the first uh, approach is create a project in Eclipse and then integrate with SBT. So we already have the Eclipse project which is created earlier. Now we will see how we can integrate with SBT. So for that, click on this one, go to properties. Now let me see, actually click on this file, you will get the path. So the path is simple Scala, source main Scala, HW Scala in the workspace. And the workspace is under research, live demos, and here I have STS Scala workspace and 
I already have simple hyphen scalar application or project which is created through Scala IDE for Eclipse. Now we are trying to integrate with SBT. So first go to the working directory of your uh, project and then you have to Uh, you have to create build.sbt okay and uh, you can get the reference as part of my earlier uh, earlier topic setup scala and sbt i will add the link uh, to my to my current uh, post here you can see that you can add this one name version and scala version i will explain a uh, little bit de in detail here vi build dot sbt so we have to give the name of the application so in this case i want to give the name as simple scala and version of the application here i have to use colon equal to and version of the application is 1.0 here also i have to give double quotes not the single quotes and then scala version equal to 2.11.8 so we have to give the correct version of scala here and then save it now we have build.sbt file in this we have build.sbt bin and src and also there are few hidden files which are created by eclipse when we created the um, uh, Scala project in Eclipse. So it has created dot class path, dot project, dot settings, etc., and also dot cache main, and also bin. All these directories are created um, as part of uh, uh, setting up the project through Scala IDE, for, uh, Scala IDE for Eclipse. So that being said, now we can run SBT build. Sorry, not SBT build, SBT package. Or you can actually do SBT compile also, which will create the target directory and it will have the jar file uh, the way I have demonstrated earlier. Okay, so it has compiled uh, the Scala program into classes and it has created the um, uh, jar file with uh, the name of the application which we have given in build.sbt. The major and minor version of Scala which is 2.11 and then application version which is 1.0 okay now we have the target directory created and it has the jar file so you can either use sbt run to run the main uh, main function as we have only one uh, one class with main it will work otherwise we have to give sbt run target Scala 2.11 simple scala and then we have to give the program name which is hw and hit enter it has ran successfully i'm not sure why it has given uh, okay i know i think i just have to give simple scala 2.11 1.0.jar hw let me see whether it will work no even this one does not work so this is the syntax sbt run main H, uh, hw in the double quote so you can also pass uh, main function like this and you can also pass the parameters if you want here as of now this is a simple project a simple application where we are not doing anything with the parameters hence uh, it does not do, you do anything with the hello parameter but this is how you can actually pass the parameters also to the main function using sbt run main command so this is how you can actually integrate the existing um, uh, uh, Eclipse uh, uh, Scala Eclipse Scala ID project with SBT, and we have created the jar file, and we can ship the jar file to whatever uh, target we want, and we can run it uh, over there. And now we will do the other way around. 
where we will actually create a, uh, a project from command line using fbt first and then we will actually import it into the eclipse that is the second uh, um, way of creating projects with eclipse and sbt okay so for that first i will create a new directory called mkdr simple scala sbt okay i'm go that will be my working directory i'm getting into that directory and then here i want to run sbt eclipse command sorry we should not run the sbt eclipse command directly i'm deleting everything here first let me create the source main scala which is my um, uh, uh, my uh, source folder the default source folder for my project first let me create that one here i have to say mkdir hyphen p because i am trying to create multiple directories at uh, different levels uh, so this command will create the entire directory and now we have to create build.sbt here we have to give the name name equal to simple scala sbt version equal to 1.0 and scala version equal to 2.11.8 again you can copy from the previous one and just change the name rest of the stuff does not change here but if you want to give different version um, especially for the application you can give now we have the build.sbt and if you see this location as of now there is only src directory which have the main subdirectory and scala subdirectory and we we have not created any files yet or any programs yet as part of this project so first we need to build the way you can build is by running uh, uh, sbt eclipse so this one this one will work only if we add the plugin and as part of uh, um, earlier portion of this video we have created uh, a directory called plugins and we have uh, added uh, the sbt eclipse plugin into plugins.sbt hence this command will work if you don't do that this command will not work so make sure that you actually created the plugins directory and added uh, the dependency in plugins.sbt now the scaffolding is done the process of creating the necessary directories um, uh, easily is called as scaffolding it's a standard term and it is done and you can see uh, now several uh, files and directories earlier we have only src directory and build.sbt but now you see there is a directory called project there is a directory called target there is dot settings dot project dot class path etc now you can go to the eclipse and say file import and here i want to import existing projects if you don't see it directly you have to expand the general tab here and click on existing projects into workspace click on uh, next and then give the root directory and my root directory is simple scala sbt i am in the right one make sure you are also in the right one click on open and then it will identify and the project then click on finish okay now the product is being created but the source the source folder does not have any uh, um, programs hence it is empty now we can actually say we can copy this one and say uh, directly we can actually copy this file itself copy test and then here we will see this and modify little bit from simple scala sbt save it and then run as scala application so now you can see it here it it it, uh, it is uh, uh, it is fine it, it is working so we have created the directory layout uh, using sbt and then we have imported into eclipse and also when sbt is in, uh, when the eclipse and sbt are integrated you can say sbt 
till the compile what it will do is as you make the modifications to the uh, program in ide it will actually uh, refresh the jar files uh, whenever you save it for example uh, let me add some more thing one more line println integration of sbt and scala ide is done save it and you can see that it has compiled the uh, the application automatically now you can kill this so until you kill it it will keep on polling uh, the changes and it will actually create the jar file whenever you save it now you can say sbt run main hw and hit enter it will be able to identify the main function and it will be able to run the main function you can see hello world from simple scala sbt and also integration of sbt and scala ide is done and we did not run sbt package again we just uh, uh, ran sbt tilde compile the tilde portion is important where it will uh, keep on polling uh, uh, the changes in an infinite loop and if there are any changes it will just compile into new jar file and you can use the new jar file uh, to run the run as application now you can ship this jar to the remote server and either deploy or uh, schedule it depending upon the type of activity we will do in the jar file so that being said we are successfully done with setting up IDE for uh, Scala uh, using SBT, Eclipse, uh, Scala IDE for Eclipse and also Scala itself. So we have downloaded Scala first, we have set up SBT and then we have taken care of uh, Scala, for, uh, Scala IDE for Eclipse and we have integrated SBT with Scala uh, IDE for, uh, for Eclipse and now everything is integrated. Uh, Scala, SBT, Scala for IDE, they are all integrated with the same version of Scala and uh, they can work together now to build the Scala based applications. That being said, I hope you are enjoying the content. If you um, please provide uh, the rating uh, wherever it is appropriate, uh, please give me the full rating. If you think otherwise, please uh, let me know. Uh, the issues I will either uh, try to solve the issues or I will try to provide the justification why something has done in a particular way if you are satisfied you can give the full rating otherwise you can give the rating uh, what you feel I deserve based upon my uh, response that being said thank you bye